Many of you will give to a charity this holiday season, but before you do, the Department of Consumer Affairs wants you to do your research. Count on to consumer investigator Libba Holland explains how to make sure you're not giving to a fake charity. Brendan, the Federal Trade Commission says that oftentimes fake charities will target certain topics and one that might catch your attention right now may have to do with the holidays and holiday giving. So it's important to know that your donation is going to a legitimate organization. It's the season of giving. We've been so blessed that, you know, we just like to share with the people that don't have what we have. But you want to make sure those getting your donations are really the ones in need. If you're not sure about the charity, don't feel pressured to give. Juliana Harris with the South Carolina Department of Consumer Affairs says fake charities tend to pop up around the holidays, often targeting holiday shoppers. A lot of times we get solicited while we're walking around stores or on the phone, and you may not know who the charity is, may not be familiar with them, and it's okay to say no. If someone is soliciting a donation, you should ask for as much information about the charity as possible, including a physical address. Be skeptical of names that closely resemble other well-known charities. And if the person asks you for cash and has a sense of urgency, those are red flags. You can use the internet as a tool as well. There's lots of great resources that tell you what a charity uses their money for. One site you can visit is Charity Navigator. Charity Navigator gives you how the money is spent, you know, making sure that the money goes where it's supposed to go, and they rate it up to four stars. All South Carolina charities must be registered through the Secretary of State, so you can search on its website and you can also find a list of suspended charities. Make sure that the charity can use the money the way that they purported to use the money. You can find the links that I just explained on CountOn2.com. In the studio tonight, Libba Holland, CountOn2.